guys, it's Jean here and welcome to my channel. So today I have a what's in my bag video and this is requested by a viewer to do a what's in my Proenza Schooler backpack. And if you haven't seen the original video, I'll leave a link down below where I just share my opinions and a review of this bag. Um, but yes, I know I've been pronouncing it wrong. It's, Pro it's Proenza Schooler, not Shula. For some reason my brain doesn't function properly and I always mispronounce things or give things nicknames because I don't know why. But yes, I have done a what's in my bag video before um, when I first started about two years ago. I'll leave a link down below for that one as well. And there hasn't really been much things that have changed. Um, I still have pretty much most of the same things. But yeah, I'll show you again anyway with this bag. So this bag I've had for about eight months or so now and there are starting to get a little tears here and there so I don't know whether you can see there on the strap but that's starting to tear so and also here I have kind of scratched it and this legit happened like the other day I was walking to work and I saw the curb but I still managed to trip and skiddle on the footpath it was so embarrassing but my bag got damaged so yeah so let's go through what's in my bag um, if you can see, this is what it looks like inside. It's got the opening compartment, like the small compartment and the opening one in the middle. So the first thing I have is my wallet. And this is the Chanel Classic in lambskin. And it's pretty much where I keep all my cards and notes. And I'm the biggest hoarder when it comes to those loyalty programs. I always have those cards, but I never really use it. So this is where I keep them. I've also got a little wallet. This is the Burberry, like a little pouch, coin purse. Um, this is where I keep all my everyday things, like all my everyday cards, work cards, and um, train tickets as well. So this is where I keep that. And I find this easier as well, where I don't need to carry my back and just put this in my pocket. Next thing I have is my phone. And this is just the Samsung Galaxy S5. I actually really need a new one. I hate this phone. For some reason, every time my phone updates, it always resets my notifications and moves everything from my memory card to back to the phone. It's always saying I'm out of storage. So let me know if you're having the same problem because I don't know if that's a fault or whether that's the way the phone is. So if that's the case, I'm thinking of switching back to an iPhone, um, either that or upgrade to a S7. So let me know if you're having that problem. Next thing I've got in my bag is my agenda. This is the Louis Vuitton small agenda and pretty much just keep my everyday like appointments or events and things like that I keep in here. And the next thing I have is a portable charger and it looks like this. This is so cute. It's like a, it looks like a Chanel compact case but it's actually a, like a memory, not a memory bag, a charger bank. Um, but yeah, I got this online at um, Store Envy. I probably wouldn't recommend the seller though because, I don't know, when I first got it, first of all, it took like six weeks to get it delivered. And maybe it took longer, it just felt like it was forever. And when I first used it, my phone was taking forever to charge. So I contacted the seller and they actually never responded or anything. So I thought that was really crap. Anyways, but then I realized it was just the cord, so now it kind of works fine. But what I love about this is it's also like a compact mirror as well. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. And I think nowadays you need to carry one of these things around because phones just don't last for some reason, like the whole day. But yeah. Next thing I have is my headphones. These are the... Friends Layla headphones in rose gold. In my original What's in My Handbag, I've got these in the normal gold, which ended up being broken, so I got these replaced with the rose gold because they will discontinue. But these are really handy. I use these for working on the train just to block people out, really. And the next thing I've got in my bag is an umbrella. Um, again, this is also in my original. Most of these were all in my original What's in My Bag, but this is an Oroton umbrella, which is nice because it fits in my bag. I lost the case to it because I don't know what happened, but Melbourne weather, you always need to carry an umbrella no matter what the weather is. So I always keep this in my bottom of my bag. And now on the bottom, I've also got... I've got two 
hand creams for some reason. The first one is the Mecca Cosmetica hand cream. And if you are in their loyalty program, this is what I got when it was my birthday. So they give you a little gift for your birthday. Well, not little. This is actually a full-size item. But this smells really nice and it's really soft as well. And I've also got the Elizabeth Arden hand 8-hour hand cream, which is makes your hands really soft and smells really nice as well. So I've got that in my bag. And I've also got, just on the bottom of my bag, a few random things. So I've got a few receipts that probably needs to be chucked out and also like a shopping list. I always have random shopping list on the bottom of my bag as well. I've also got a pen because I must have stolen this off somewhere because for some reason I have these random collection of pens everywhere that I don't remember buying. But I've also got a Ventolin Puff because... I realised I need one as an emergency because I don't know if you can tell but I'm a bit sick again at the moment so I've got this just in case. I've got a packet of gum rolling around on the bottom of my bag so it's probably like all mouldy and stuff but yep. And my mum also gave me this recently. It's uh, pretty much, it's like a little bag holder so when you go out to like restaurants and stuff you can lean it on the on the um, table and hook your bag so it doesn't have to sit on the floor because I find it like with all the like expensive bags and things like that like you don't know where to put them when you go to eat so I just kind of chuck it on the floor and it's like you don't know how dirty the floor is so my mum gave me this which is really handy so I've got that on the bottom of my bag as well and looking at the sides so I've also got a few things in the little side pockets here so first I've got some lady stuff because you know you always need those and I've got a few makeup and stuff in here, so I've got the, this is the MAC lip pencil in Whirl, which looks like that. This is like a nice everyday colour, so I've got that in there. I've also got the EOS lip balm, the egg balm in mint, because I like the, I like it when it tingles, so that's my everyday lip balm cream that I carry in my bag. I've also got... Um, I also carry concealer in case, you know, I've got like shit on my face. So this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And I find that this is really nice and it blends really well with my skin colour as well. I've also got this random Ikea clip. This is like one of those seal things to make sure things are stayed fresh. I must have been snacking on something, but I've got this in there. I've also got this little eyeliner. This is the sample size of the Benefit their real push-up liner which looks like this and I got this from when I went to the Moonlight Cinemas um, so at the moment I'm not, I'm not sure if it's still on but in Melbourne there's the Moonlight Cinemas on I think during summer um, and tickets are like $19 however you can pay like a $30 benefit ticket where you get a benefit product and I was kind of disappointed because I was expecting like a full-size product but you actually get this shitty little sample size but so yeah I've got this in my bag in case I need it and I've also got the Sephora, this is like a matte lip gloss because I don't know why, but I've got that in my bag as well. And I think that's it. Oh, I've also got, this is like a little sample of the burrito, burrito, I can never say it right, but it reminds me, it can't be burritos, but it's like burrito. It's a um, French fragrance brand. This is in the gypsy water sample that I've got in my Mecca Beauty Loop and this smells really nice so I've got that in there as well but that's pretty much it that is all that's in my bag and yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and please also make sure you subscribe to watch more videos thanks for watching bye